Okay guys, so basically a new episode of Euthoria is coming out as I said. So lighting that good though. Mm, yeah. Sorry the lighting's not the best, but anyway. So like I said, he wouldn't probably like it. I do like it. The thing is, yeah, is it worth the $19? You I'm probably gonna watch some other stuff on there, so you know. Is it overhyped? Maybe a little bit. But probably I was just expecting so much because all of a sudden there's like group chats about this show. Like I get it. It's fun. It's fun to keep up with it. And I hear there's some drama behind the scenes like that Nathan guy doesn't want to work with that blonde girl now. Or something like there's like a, a beef there like conflict. So that's interesting. So like they made the writers rewrite the script for the new season. So that's kind of fun. Um, there's a lot of unnecessary dicks in there for no reason <laughs> like I like you know what I mean I get it okay they want to put nudity in there but there's like it's to the extreme like the whole locker room was so unnecessary sorry there's spoilers in this if you haven't seen it but in the locker room so unnecessary and then the fact that one scene where they zoom in on it and it's just freaking like mm -hmm. that's like it's a lot okay i think that's on the very first episode <laughs> or like it's in the first season for sure so yeah that's the only thing i'm just like okay for what but i get i get it they're supposed to make it seem like nathan like you know has this like issue like he's kind of like sick because like of how he grew up but still i get the point without you know all that but otherwise it, it is a good show i like it i like the makeup it's just so funny because it's so unrealistic from high school it's like because <laughs> these people are like in their 20s and they're acting like they're like 20s but in high school so it makes it kind of unrealistic but i, I get they're trying to do the realistic thing but yeah and what they wear to high school so funny and then people are saying they don't wake up early to do their makeup like that. I was that bitch, okay? And people are saying like, um, like they don't wake up early. It's like, neither did I. I never woke up early to do it. I just went late <laughs> <laughs> on my time. You know what I mean? Like who needs a first period? My first period teacher hated me. She was like, because she was never even there. Okay, she was never there. And I went there late because she didn't give, like, she didn't care about the class, so I didn't care about the class, like, but it was so easy. It was economics. And I did all my homework in that class. It was so easy because she was barely there. Oh. And, um, I was getting in trouble for being late. So they're like, you can't be late anymore or, like, you're going to fail the class, basically. So I started bringing my makeup to school and doing it in first period. <laughs> and she was like... Jada, this isn't like makeup class or whatever. And I was done my homework, so I was like, okay, then can I go to the bathroom? Like, don't play about me. Like, I'm gonna do my makeup one way or another. I'm just doing it here because you guys said I couldn't do it at home. And I still did all my homework and everything. So anyway, like, I, she was like, no. And I was like, why not? Because I'm done. Oh my God, I had a, such a little attitude. But she was being like, why? Like, for what? I was literally done my homework. She still gets me heated to this day. Anyway, and then I was like, yeah, I'm done. Like, I have to go to the bathroom. She's like, okay. And then she dares comments on my makeup. She's like, I, sh I came back from the bathroom and obviously my makeup's done. And then she's like, um, your highlighter's a little too bright. And I'm like, bruh. Like, she is literally, like, no, like, you know what I mean? I don't want to say anything rude, but it's like, girl, I can see why you're hating on me. You know, she hates, she probably hates, she like hated her job. I swear. Those teachers, I hate being there. They really affect you as a kid. And then, I, yeah, they made me fail the class. They were like, yeah, you missed too much. Like, she literally dropped my grade after that. She dropped my grade because, and they were like, because, not because of the homework or the test, but because you weren't there. Because you get graded on your attendance in America. And they keep you hostage here. Like, Canada, when I went to Canada High School, you everyone walked over to Max to for lunch, and they would just go there. 
like freaking America, it's a fence all the way around. There's only certain exit points, and there's a freaking guard there, like asking like if anyone's going into the school, like what are you here for, right? Because um, I guess they have like a lot of school students and stuff. So like, I, I mean, I guess I, like you know, I, I get it. They have to, but that's like ugh, so annoying because when you're just a kid going there, like you can't just like leave. You actually have to have a reason. You know what I mean? So you couldn't like ditch and go home. <laughs> but one time I hopped the fence. I hopped the fence because I was at first period. And then I think they they were like they knew that I ditched for some somehow because they checked attendance. Like I don't know. Maybe I left my bag in the class and went back for it during second period. Like I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so she tried to fail me, and then she sent me to Skid Row. She was like, oh, you have to do an assignment if you want to walk and graduate, because I'm, like, graduating class. And I was like, oh, my God, are you serious? So she sends me to Skid Row, and Skid Row is, like, the worst part in L.A., like, the worst place in L.A., where there's, like, drug addicts, like, um, walking around, like, heavily. It's all tense. And, um, and you hear gunshots. So I went there with my grandma and my mom and my friend, you know, because I was like scared, like, right? I'm like in a different country, first of all. This isn't Canada. And like, I'm just not used to that, right? She says, and she wants me to interview a homeless person there. She wants me to interview someone there. Someone that could stab me, like do whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you want me to interview, I'm like, what? How old was I? Like nine? No, I was 18. I was 18. No, I think I was. Yeah, no, I was 18. I think. I don't know. Wh whatever. A young age. Like still stupid. And you want me to go into this place where there's a bunch of drugs and like probably interview a high person that's like not right in their mind? Like I should sue her over this, babe. <laughs> like that is crazy I don't know why my mom didn't say anything like that is so traumatizing anyway so I didn't want to do that because me not wanting to be around these freaking crazy you know what I mean they're not in their right mind it's not supervised I'm just going by myself like she wanted me to go like she wasn't even like oh do you have a supervised parent to take you no she's like figure it out <laughs> so I just researched it on YouTube and I did a whole report on this guy on YouTube because I was like what's the difference like whether I go down there like, I did go down there. I drove by, but I didn't want to get out of the car. So I was like, fuck that. I'm not doing this. I'll write. I'll just look it up on YouTube and write a report on that. So I did that. And then she was like, that's not... You didn't understand the assignment. That's not what I asked. You had to interview the person. So, like, you know... Anyway, long story short, I, I didn't get to walk. <laughs> that was a crazy time, like, back then. I thought I was going to walk, and then... I don't know. My mom just, uh... She told me that we were going to walk, and then we ended up coming back to Canada. Like, I did not know we were coming back to Canada. You know what I mean? She she gave me Starbucks. I fell asleep. All of a sudden, we, I woke up in L.A. And then I woke up in Vegas. I fell asleep again. I swear she says she never drug that Starbucks, but I swear she did, babe. Like, my grandma was like, yeah, she literally was trying to get, like, um, like, like just an allergy medicine that makes you fall asleep, that makes you groggy and stuff. Mm -hmm nothing serious but like still like she claims she never did but like how come i fell asleep so many times anyway woke up in vegas she's like oh we're going to vegas for the day i'm like what do you mean we're going for vegas for the day like who goes to vegas for the day you know how far vegas was from us like an hour or like a few hours mm -hmm. you know what i mean like what do you mean you just took me to vegas on a school night and my little ass didn't fucking comprehend like you know what i mean i was still questioning it like <laughs> I was like, okay, like, I was mad she didn't ask me. I was like, what do you mean? Like, I have school tomorrow, mom. <laughs> oh, my God. I, yeah, I was like, whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> then we end up in Utah, and she's like, yeah, I'm taking you to the hospital. And I was like, what? And that was believable at the time because she tried to, like, you know, I wasn't the best kid, whatever, you know, <laughs> just going through it, but whatever. Anyway, so we're in Utah, and I'm like, I'm not going to go to no hospital. <laughs> So eventually we have to stop for gas, right? <laughs> and my mom did not want to stop for gas. She was like, she made sure it was full. She got like, she did not want to stop for gas. And anyway, so we ended up, so she had to stop for gas and she's like, fuck. Because she knew I would not want to be going back to Canada. Like, just take it away like that because she thought I was going to run away, right? 
Anyway, so we st we have to stop for gas, so she wants to stop in the middle of nowhere, so there's no chance of me freaking like running away somewhere. And then we end up stopping at this truck stop, bunch of trucks, right? Middle of nowhere. <laughs> and then, you know, my grandma gets out, goes to the bathroom, my mom's gonna pump gas, right? So I go, I'm going to the bathroom, you know, because I'm mad, like, like yeah. you know. And then she's like, okay. And I go in and I look around this gas station. It could have not been set up more perfect. Right to the back, like my grandma's like looking at the drinks mm -hmm. and then right to the back, there's another door, like a back entrance, yeah. like door. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never seen a gas station. I mean, I guess some gas stations are like that, like that have two doors They're on the opposite side. Anyway, it's like perfect. This is how I'm gonna make my escape. <laughs> <laughs> so I freaking book it through that door. And then I look to the back, just full of trucks, yeah. full of trucks. I'm like, perfect. Like, <laughs> they're not finding me. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, this is great. I'm going to truck it back. <laughs> That's so dangerous. Like, what was going through my mind? Anyway, so then I just go, I run like to the end of the trucks. Then I go over this, like, I think I go under a fence, over a no, I go over a fence, and I had to go under a fence, and then cross two highways. Because it's in the middle of nowhere, right? To this other gas station. And then I go in and I ask him to use the Wi-Fi, because I didn't have, I didn't have, I didn't pay for a phone back then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I was a Wi-Fi use phone only. Like, I was literally gonna chug it back with a, not a fucking phone, like needing Wi-Fi to connect. Jesus. Like, such an idiot. <laughs> but I didn't do it, thank God. But I was delusional, right? Like, you know what I mean? I was, like, just ripped out. Like, how are you going to rip me out? And, like, of course I'm going to act crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, you know what I mean? I just, you just took me out. I thought I was graduating next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, so obviously I'm going to, like, you know, I'm freaking out as a kid. Anyway, so I asked him. He thinks I'm so sweet, right? I'm like, excuse me, can I have the Wi-Fi password? He's like, sure. Like, you know, I was like, yeah, I need to call my mom or something, whatever. And then it's all glass outside, right? Mm -hmm. This all glass window. <laughs> so then I just go out and I text my friend because it was just, it was just me and him in that gas station. No one else, right? Oh, Quiet okay. as fuck. Yeah. So I go out and obviously he can see me, but like, you know, it's not like, I just wanted to be like, you know, away, whatever. It's a gas station. I don't know anybody. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, one cop car drives by on the other side of the highway. And I was like, okay, I don't think he saw me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, what are the odds that he saw me? But I guess it's the one gas station out of butt fuck nowhere. You're probably going to look over yeah. to the gas station. <laughs> and it just felt slow as fuck, too. And then I was like, hmm, should I go inside? And I was like, no, I was like, yeah, what are the chances they saw me? All of a sudden, like, not even two minutes later, freaking five cop cars pull up on me at this freaking gas station. This guy witnesses this, like, right? I'm just standing there. The cop comes up to me, and he's like, are you Jada? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay, your mom's looking for you. Because obviously my mom, mm -hmm. my mom took a picture of me when I was sleeping okay. because she knew I'd probably run away. away so she had a picture to show the police what you were wearing yes like and uh, yes and I was like fuck I should have like changed or something because obviously I had some clothes like mm -hmm. I had a little ba like bag I think or something I don't know whatever but I should have put a sweater on or something like changed it up but like yeah and then he was like well since you're underage like he's like how old are you and I think I was like Maybe I was 17. I don't know. I was underage, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what the legal age is. I know drinking is 21, but I mean, like, I think 18. So I was 17, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I was 17. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I was 17. Um, he was like, you have to come, you have to go with your mom mm -hmm. because you're not 18. Like, what? I think I was trying to run away to be 18 so that she couldn't take me back because I knew she was going to want to take me back. Mm -hmm trying to run away before you yeah before because so, then i didn't have to go with her right mm -hmm. but then you know she yeah i got caught before i was 18 and my birthday was, i was gonna run away right before my birthday like you know what i mean so that i turned 18 yeah. you know which would have been awful like thank god like thank god i know this is like this is like such shitty lighting but it's such a long time <laughs> <laughs> Literally the light went down when I told this story. So anyway, well that's just a little something that happened in my life. Yeah. Anyway, so 
that's a little but i'm so grateful for her like thank you mom like thank you it worked out how it worked out it's just that like you know you'll rip me out of course i'm gonna freak out like just talk to me i just wish you would have just sat me down and had like an actual conversation with me but you know i would have been scared too if i was a mom like I, I was not the best child okay like i was i don't know you know talk about it in a different story but you know i was i was broken <laughs> anyway that was all. 